Hi, I'm Caitlin, and I'm going to talk about the Pictet Spangler today. It is a reaction that utilizes a beta aryl ethylamine, and for this example, I'm using a ketone, or there are a lot of other carbonyls that can be used, but it becomes the electrophile. And it's catalyzed by an acid to yield a tetrahydroisoquinoline product. And what the mechanism looks like is you start with your carbonyl, so in my case, the ketone, it gets pronated to make it a good electrophile that is nitrogen to come in and attack. Then a bit of a proton shuffle occurs where the nitrogen gets depronated and the oxygen gets pronated to make it a good leaving group for these lone pairs to swing down and kick off that water. Then you get the key intermediate to this reaction, which is the aminium, which allows, it becomes a very good electrophile and that allows for an intermolecular attack which forms this six-membered ring. Then we have a cation here. So the base will come in, depronate, and those electrons swing down to yield our product. Now this reaction is used quite a bit in total synthesis. It's very useful and Bart Hurley and colleagues use it in their total synthesis of Johannbein, which is a naturally occurring biologically active compound. And they actually, for their aromatic region, was an indole, which is also very common for this reaction. And then their electrophile was this aldehyde. They used a chiral acid as their catalyst, and that yielded the tetrahydroisoquinoline product.